Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be opening the, the Lego Avengers, uh, Avengers Endgame Captain, Captain America Outriders Cycle, which is set number 76123. That's the front of the box, and that's the back of the box. So basically, it's just, um, it's just another Marvel bike with some, with some Outriders with it. But we'll open it up and see, and see. Right, it's, it's got the um, semi-circle pop studs on the back, I'll just show you those. It does come with another Captain America figure. I'll get into that later, so as we start to build it, we've got a book like this, a little book. And we've got some stickers, my favourite thing. Anyone who watches my video regularly, we have some fire bits there. Three bags. So first of all, okay, so open all the bags, apart from the fire bits anyway. Don't need those just yet. Lego do seem to like making these bikes because I think they, I think they're just nice, nice, easy builds for them. So. Carefully, I'm just I am just trying to trying to apply safety safety as I open the bags because if you cut your fingers it can get can be quite annoying. So we have first of all we build Captain America in his Avengers Endgame time time travel suit. It almost looks like they've actually taken the um, Buzz Lightyear head off this one a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that, but you probably find it is a Buzz Lightyear head. So, I'm not sure, so he's a, he has a battle face and a normal face. There is, there is some nice detailing on these um, end game figures. So, as you can see on the front, on the front, on the front and the legs and on the back, not so much on the back, but you can see the Avengers logo on it. So, overall, not, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. We have Captain America with his helmet slash cowl on it. So his shield has to be in here somewhere. I'll be very disappointed if it isn't. So here we go. Captain America has his shield. Um, I'll probably keep this figure anyway for, for what, at some point because because it'll go with my other Captain America. So. Here we have Captain America in his Endgame costume. I do think Lego copped out a little bit with the with these old Endgame sets because these figures are pretty much the same figure where they just stuck a different head on them. So it could just be me, but now we've got to build the Outriders. If you, if you do if you do agree or disagree dis disagree on that please please feel free to let me know in the comments because my all feedback is is gratefully is, is gratefully received. So uh, find some legs. They all look the same as outriders, so that is one thing about buying these sets. You you do pick up a few more bad guys along the way, which is which is usually quite nice, so I think all, they're all, all the bodies seem to be the same, so we have a spiked shoulder panel. They have some Wolverine type claws. I think these are recycled Wolverine claws, so. That's the first Outrider. There's some, there is some not nice detailing on the body and face on these because they've, they've done a bit on the back as well. And they've got their like face, so we'll put them in next to Cap. 
I presume it's a him, because they could be gender neutral, so. Now we've got to make the, the back bits. These are like the um, venom type arms, so. So it's one of these with a claw on it, so. Let's make eight of these up first, I think, because. It will clear some of the smaller bits down, so that always makes the build easier once you get start clearing down a few a few bits. So. By the way, this set is actually a, a six plus set, so it should be quite a reasonably simple build. So mind you the bikes, Lego have been doing these bikes for quite some time. Even though the to the best of my knowledge, the bike isn't actually actually in the film, so which is a little bit of a letdown. But to be fair, Captain America doesn't really doesn't really need a bike, so. But it does add, it does add to a not it does add to your, to your Lego it will add to your Lego collection quite nicely. So it does have a lot of play, does would have a lot of playability. Especially when you put it up, put it up against all the other bikes, you can have your own Lego bike, Biker Avengers as well. I've probably said that before, but if it's that good, it's worth saying twice. So get these back bits done. That's one of the out, out, outriders with the extra arms on it. I'll try and show you that without the. Quite nice. Also been used for vet. That's that's been also been used for venom and carnage and iron spider a couple of times as well. So I believe there is a set with iron spider in somewhere, but I don't I don't own that set because I think that goes in the really expensive set with the. Um, uh, with the Doctor Strange's house, if memory serves me right, I could be wrong on that. So I'm quite, quite but I am quite sure there is an Iron Spider Lego figure somewhere in the in the, in the official one. Anyway, Ooh, he bent his legs for me. It wasn't very really helpful. There we go. We have our Outriders there. Ooh. Make sure they stand up. There we go. Put those there so you can see them. Now we start work on the bike. It does seem to be the standard chassis for the bike. There is a set like this where the Black Panther has a bike as well. So, so like I said, you, you, you can build up your own superhero, um, superhero bike, biking superheroes. So. there like that. Oops, the wrong way. Always read the instructions. A 
couple of Technic Lego bits to go in. A couple of the black connectors, which are the slot, which are the tight, the tighter ones of the two. Which means they generally get used for things that you don't you don't want moving around too much. There we go, that's the first bit of the bike done. Put that there. Put that bike there, just there, so you can see that. We have some launching launchers now. I know this because I built I built a if you watch my previous videos you see how I built an over there's an overwatch, the overwatch hand hands over versus guiding, I think the, the I think it is. Sorry if my pronunciation is a bit wrong on that. I, bought, I built that set last week and it was quite it was quite a nice build and yeah watch stuff does have some nice good good things going for it but well the marble stuff is I but I do I do do enjoy the marble stuff purely because purely because of the figures and the, the figures and some of the sets really are, can, are quite good, so. That's what we have so far. These bits, these bits go here. What we have so far for the launches. We have some detailing on the side now to go on. This is just to show it to Captain America's bike, so. There we have the stickers, there we go, there we go. Now we attach that to this part here. Not sure what, it seems to seem a bit of a waste of bricks there, but I'm quite sure it all makes sense in the end. So there we go, that's what we have so far for the bike. It's starting to take shape, so. Get the Avengers logo on the front. There we go, that's what we have so far. Do a couple of bits on here. See that's gone there, I think. Yeah, 
and see that instruction properly. So always double check if you're not sure with these things because as I've demonstrated before, sometimes the bricks can be so tightly packed together you don't want, you don't want to un you unconnect them. So. Handlebars go on here like so. Very small set of handlebars for a big bike, but as you can see, this will be the front, that's the back. There we go, on the see through bit. And that becomes the front head, the headlight for it. So that's what we have so far for the bike. Still got a bit more to go, but not not too many pieces. So that bit there. Put these bits on here. A lot of a lot of these a lot of technic Lego goes onto these sets, so I've got to put some corner bits on. Square it off. supports that. Obviously doesn't support it that much so still got to be a bit careful. Headlights just come off. There we go. So apparently, it goes on like that, and these are, these will be the uh, firing mechanism for the um, discs which we haven't got to yet, so. So put that down there. Cap the bike is starting to take shape.
Take that on the back. Couple more bit go on here. That's what we have on the bike so far. Starting to take shape. Not as big as it looks on the on the box either, so he says famous last words. So first wheel on. These are the standard Lego wheels as you can see. Show them show these before you got your play inside, you your spokes and your normal like four by four what I call four by four wheels. So. Stick that on there like so, turn it around. So do the other side, so it's one, a cream colored, just for the axle. There it is, what we have so far on the bike. It still looks oversized, but there like so. There's Captain America's bike. It does look, yeah, I, I, I still think they look slightly out of proportion, but Firing mechanism on these has been has been has been proven to me on more than one occasion. So these blue one, these blue attachments, like blue Technic Lego attachments here, these are quite these are ones are quite tight and secure. So that's how the bike so the bike stands up right there. That's what we have so far. couple of um, blasters at the front good to be made. Some gun type pieces which they're using as a connector. See, I've done that wrong. Like I say, always read the instructions, don't get too excited. Got to make one for the other side now, so. Do 
these bits in here. Ooh. I do love these little fiddly bits. Sure about this connection bit here, yeah, so yeah. I think you may have a loose connection bit on that one, so not the end of the world though. So I put his bike there, so what we have so far. All the front front facing weapons as a bike should should be, if he well an armoured bike anyway, so Obviously, I'm not encouraging people to do that sort of thing, so. I see that bit goes in there like so. Got to make four like exhausts. These go on the back. Bag of the flame bag. I think I'm not sure if these are just, these are just stand, standard ones they do because it does seem to be lots of. No, I think all the bits are individually in here and should be here. So. Yeah, we have the flames coming out of the exhaust on it. So it's obviously quite a powerful, powerful vehicle. There's like one firing, one weapon firing off the bike. Stick this bit on here like so. So what we have so far on the front of the bike. That's somewhat of a tight fit, but it works, so. Got to make two of those. Let's 
So it goes on here like so. I'm gonna change that hook, I think, because it doesn't seem to be right. That feels a bit better. Have like the Avengers firing discs go in here like so. So for some reason they've got A on them, so for effect, I think. So what you do, you push these in here like so. And then you then you should be able to fire them. So let's have a look. These things always make me nervous. Like that. They don't fire out too badly, so you're likely to be losing them in around here is very slim. So there we go, we have Captain America with his bike. He has, they have designed this bike, it's not, it's not as bad as I thought the design would be, to be honest with you. I'm a bit sceptical when Marvel just designed bikes for superheroes, it's like he's got his shield on it, and now he has. It was quite fortunate this wasn't used in Endgame really, because I think it would have would have just been in there for commercial reasons, which is which is not really that, not really the best plan. So, if we just grab grab onto the motorbike, it'll be fine. Bear with me. Put that back on there, so. Yeah, you got Captain America and his Captain America Outrides attack. So that can go back. There we go, he has his battle bike for for actually destroying all the outriders now, so he can drive straight into them, blast them, and they're not gonna stand a chance. So quite a nice, quite a nice build. Not not a bad little vehicle, so not as bad as I thought it would be. So there we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe and also also leave any comments or feedback. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I'd like to thank my, my regular subscribers, um, Soundwave Man who always always seems to leave a comment on my videos. Thank you very much. Um, Captain, Captain Redbeard and, 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 and all the rest. Um, if you would like a mention, please feel free to, um, please feel free, if uh, I've forgotten you, please, please leave a comment at the end. Um, Thank you for watching, I um, hope you all stay safe and keep building. Thank you very much.